ਹਾਂ ਬਈ ਸ਼ੁਭ ਪ੍ਰਭਾਤ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਪਰਮ ਪਿਤਾ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਸਾਵਣ ਦੇ ਜਨਮ ਦਿਨ ਦੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧਾਈ ਗੁੱਡ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ ਟੂ 올 ਦ ਡੀਅਰ ਚਿਲਡਰਨ ਹਾਰਟੀ ਫੈਸਿਲਿਟੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਟੂ 올 ਦ ਡੀਅਰ ਚਿਲਡਰਨ ਔਨ ਦੀ ਓਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ 올 ਮਾਈਟੀ ਲਾਰਡ ਸਾਵਣ ਸਿੰਘਸ ਬਰਥਡੇ ਹਾਂ ਬਈ ਮੈਂ ਹਰ ਰੋਜ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਪਾਸ ਆ ਕੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਪਿਆਰ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਕਰਦਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹਾਂ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਆ ਕੇ ਬੜੀ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਆਸ਼ਾ ਕਰਦਾ ਹਾਂ ਇਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੇ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਵੀ ਸਸੰਗ ਹੈ ਜਾਣਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਜੋ ਇਤਨੇ ਦਿਨ ਕੋਨੀ ਬਰੋਨ ਨੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਸਸੰਗ ਦਾ ਇੰਤਜ਼ਾਮ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਮੇਰੇ ਇਹ ਸੇਵਾ ਦਿਲ ਤੇ ਲਿਖੀ ਹੈ ਬੜੀ ਉੱਚੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਕਰਨਾ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਦਿਲ ਅੰਦਰ ਭਜਨ ਬੋਲਣ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੌਕ ਪੈਦਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਇਹ ਕਾਫੀ ਮਿਹਨਤ ਦਾ ਕੰਮ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਦੇ ਵੀ ਧੰਨਵਾਦੀ ਹਾਂ ਆਈ ਹੈਡ ਬੀਨ ਰਿਸੀਵਿੰਗ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਲਵ ਫ্রম ਆਲ ਆਫ ਯੂ ਡੀਅਰ ਚਿਲਡਰਨ ਐਂਡ एवरी डे आई वाज वेरी हैप्पी टू कम हियर एंड अटेंड योर सत्संग आई होप दैट नाउ व्हेन यू विल गो टू योर होम्स व्हिच एवर सत्संग यू अटेंड you will attend the children satsang also and you will maintain the love and devotion which you have gained from here i am very grateful to all of you for maintaining the discipline and coming to this children satsang and i am equally thankful to connie brown who has been working very hard in this last week she has done a lot of seva controlling the children making the children be in the discipline because you know that it is very hard to control the kids and keep them in the discipline so the seva which she has done is written on my heart and i appreciate that very much and i hope that she will continue doing this seva and the children will also continue attending the children satsang ha bhai rasul prakrans ji jo roz bachcha nu kahani sunaunda reha hai aaj vi sunaun ge ਮੈਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਧੰਨਵਾਦੀ ਹਾਂ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਆਲਸੋ ਥੈਂਕਫੁਲ ਟੂ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਪਰਕਿੰਸ ਹੂ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਟੈਲਿੰਗ ਯੂ ਅ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਏਵਰੀ ਡੇ ਆਈ ਹੋਪ ਦੈਟ ਟੁਡੇ ਆਲਸੋ ਹੀ ਵਿਲ ਟੈਲ ਯੂ ਅ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਮਾਸਟਰ ਜਸਟ ਸੈਡ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਸ ਸਾਉਂਡ ਸਿੰਗਸ ਬਰਥਡੇ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਟੈਲ ਅ ਲਿਟਲ ਅ ਫਿਊ ਸਟੋਰੀਜ਼ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਮਾਸਟਰ ਸਾਉਂਡ ਸਿੰਗ ਹੂ ਵਾਸ ਲਿਵਡ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਲੌਂਗ ਟਾਈਮ ਐਂਡ is really responsible for the work here and everything that has been happening the past week as well as everything else because it was he whose di- beloved disciple Kripal Singh came here in the first place 30 odd years ago and also through him the power continued to go into Sanchi and to sit in front of us now when baba sawan singh was a young man before he was initiated he was still a very wise and spiritual person and it is said that he was living in the mari hills which is a part of india in the himalaya mountains a very beautiful part of india they can get cold in winter and snows there and uh there was an atheist a person who didn't believe in god who came to that place because he suffered from tuberculosis which is a disease of the lung which is very painful and eventually you die from it and the climate the weather was considered good for that so he the doctor sent him there and he was trying to find a room but the word had gone out that he was an atheist so nobody wanted to rent to him they were also afraid of his disease because it was contagious and so he was turned away from every house and he also came to sawan singh's house but sawan singh was in home so the housekeeper that he had been assigned because he was in the army at the time the housekeeper that he had been assigned had been assigned to him in the in the building turned the man away and but just as he was leaving master sawan singh came around the corner and saw that that man was going and he asked the uh, housekeeper what was going on and the housekeeper said well he wanted a room but i wouldn't rent him one master sawan singh said why not he said because he was an atheist and also because i don't like to have someone with tuberculosis around and master sawan singh said just because he doesn't know that god resides within him we know it don't we 
please give him a room? And the man did, and he stayed there in that house. Just a little while after that, uh, Master Salin Singh met his master, who was Baba Jamal Singh, who came to the Murray Hills to do satsang, have a retreat, just like the master has come here for the last few days. And he walked, he was walking with a disciple of his named Bibi Ruko, and they walked down the street where Sawan Singh was coming the other way. Sawan Singh didn't notice Baba Jamal Singh at all. He just, he saw him, but he thought he's just an old man coming here. He paid no attention to him. And as they passed, Baba Jamal Singh said to Bibi Ruko, we have come here for this man. This is the one we have come for. And she said to him, Hi, but he didn't even notice you. He hasn't even paid any attention to you. And Baba Jamal Singh said, that's all right. On the fourth day from now, he will come. And that's the way it happened. He did come in four days. He heard about Baba Jamal Singh giving satsang. And he was very curious. And he finally went to it and then uh, became very much excited. He asked him many, many questions. And Baba Jamal Singh told him to read the book, The Ocean of Love, which he did do and then got initiated. And as Baba Sawan Singh's mission became very large, he, many people opposed him. People in India who did not like to have a living master around, who liked the idea of only the ones who are already come and gone. People in the Sikh religion uh, would set up meetings and tents next to his and broadcast propaganda against him and tell people not to go see him because he was bad. And then, uh, because they were out in the desert place, no provisions had been made, and um, they needed to eat. So Baba Sawan Singh insisted that they would be fed also. And he said, all right, you do propaganda against me, and then you come here and eat. And so they, they did. <clears throat> And one final story, Master Kripal Singh used to tell that when he was a young disciple of Baba Sawan Singh, one time these same Akalis came to him and demanded to be fed at uh, a very weird time when there was no food in the kitchen, nothing being prepared. But they said they were hungry and they wanted to eat. And Master Kripal Singh didn't know what to do. He went to the kitchen and got people to try to uh, get the stoves going and so forth. There was one basket with a few chapatis in it. And as he was make, giving orders to light the stoves, Baba Sawan Singh came in and said, Kripal Singh, what are you doing? Why don't you feed these people? And Master Kripal Singh said, but there isn't any food. And Baba Sawan Singh said, Kripal Singh, take up that basket and feed them. There are chapatis in there, give them to them. There were about 500 people and there were about three chapatis in the basket, but he covered the basket and kept giving them chapatis out of it and everyone was fed. It was like a miracle. 